Scenes out of Ukraine show desperate people walking miles in freezing temperatures, cramming onto train station platforms, and waiting hours at the Polish border. Included in that number are thousands of international students who just want to go home. Many of them say that their wish is being delayed or denied because of their skin color. The Ukrainian Ministry of Education reports over 80,000 students come from around the world to study at Ukraine's renowned and relatively inexpensive universities and medical schools. More than 18,000 of these students come from India, over 16,000 from African nations like Morocco, Nigeria, Egypt, and South Africa, and many from the Middle East, 158 countries in all. Abira Ahmad Khan was studying medicine in Kyiv when she tried to evacuate. She says border officials held her and other international students back. They waited for all the Ukrainian people to go out first and then other nationalities. Abira, who is from Pakistan, says the people in the Ukrainian villages have been kind and given them food. But she believes the poor treatment she and her fellow exchange students received from border officials is because of their nationality and skin color. On the border, they were preferring Ukra Ukrainian people and we had to wait uh, even more than we, we could, we should have, uh, because of those people, because of racist people. 22-year-old Egyptian student Abdelhamid Ahmed says foreign students were told they would have to pay for their own buses. Ukrainian people taking bus and uh, foreign people, except for except uh, Ukrainian, are going by walking, not taking bus. Too much people walking, like we walk maybe 40 or 45 kilometers, more than. Despite the difficulties, Nigerian medical student Lois Kaya says going to the border is his only choice. By any situation, we need to drain our own country. We cannot stay here. Our university has to talk to people. We are not able to protect you. Loy's motivation, his mother. She's waiting for me. She invests our money for my education so I cannot be blocked in this country. So she's every day crying. Why are you? Have you taken your train? I'm watching some video online. What is happening in your country? I say, it's what is it? In places like India and Nigeria, families are protesting to get their students and loved ones out of a dangerous war zone. Viral videos circulating on social media appear to show African, Middle Eastern, and Indian students treated differently than their European counterparts. Nigerian President Mohamedou Buhari responded to the videos in a Twitter statement, saying in part, all who flee a conflict situation have the same right to safe passage under UN convention, and the color of their passport or their skin should make no difference. Filippo Grandi, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, says there has been a different treatment. There should be absolutely no discrimination between Ukrainians and non-Ukrainians, Europeans and non-Europeans. Everyone is fleeing from the same risks. He says the UN plans to intervene to ensure everyone is treated fairly at the borders. But for now, students from around the world are making harrowing trips through a country currently under attack, trying to make their way home. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman.